first off, it's never no Rico. That's just that's just blogs. You know what I'm saying? Okay. It was never no Rico case. That's all. Right. It's not a Rico case. The people that was picked up already had an open case. Okay. If you see what's going on in Houston, Texas, right now. A lot of celebrities are passing away. A lot of shit is going on. So let's put them up. And we got to get strict around this real quick before the beginning of the year. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. So, yeah, uh, we on first talk about um, you are with TSL. Yes, sir. Lately in the news, TSL, uh, it's been Rico talk and all kind of stuff. Let's be real. No, be real. I've been sitting around looking like what's going to happen next, like a movie. I'm being real. See, most people don't have no interview like this. You understand? I come with what I know. You know what I'm saying? And and I mean, I just want to know, like, how does that affect you and your music and just what you're doing now? Even though you straight lace. I've been watching you. I'm looking at your entrepreneurship, the way that you rocking, and I love it. But at the end of the day, still, with that foggy cloud of whatever people talking about. man. I'm part of it. How it goes, how it goes. First off, man. Thank God, off top, you know what I'm saying? The, the, your tongue is a powerful thing, so I don't like putting certain things out there like that, you know what I'm saying? But that's just part of what, what I am, you know what I'm saying? I'm in the streets, I, I signed up for it, that, that got me to who I am, that we are a label, you know what I'm saying? I can show you, t- I pay LLCs, I pay taxes for all this, so regardless of what it is, but <clears throat> first off, it's never no Rico. That's just that's just blogs, you know what I'm saying? Okay. It was never no Rico case. That's all right. It's not a Rico case. The people that was picked up already had an open case. Okay. If you see what's going on in Houston, Texas right now, a lot of celebrities are passing away. A lot of shit is going on. So let's put them up. And we got to get strict around this real quick before the beginning of the year. Yeah. And who's the nigga that's in the city that's... that's yeah, that's the ones. <laughs> so that's just what that was. But everybody home and it was on house arrest fighting cases to get shit together, but let's make that clear. It was never no Rico. The main person that y'all put on the picture of the thing, name wasn't even on there, so we don't even understand how. But at the end of the day, that just goes on with it. Somebody had to tell somebody, hey, this is a part of this, and kaboom, because that shit was out. It happened three, four days before everybody even knew about it. Damn. So, you know. Well, I, I talked to Brad when it came, when he came up, because he had just came from up here, and we had did an interview, and I called him, I say, are you all right? You know, because when we did the interview, none of this stuff had happened. Mm-hmm. Oh, you but speaking on bread with the dude that be with The one okay, that he and, just had done. He just signed with y'all. And, this, just, and, and this is what I see. This is what I say, bro. Like, like, bro, like, no offense, bro. Like, hey, bro, coming to be with this shit over here, man, be ready to know what you signed up for, yeah. bro. I, I, on camera, me and Walt getting the tour a lot, but he know I'm I'm a real, I'm like I said, I'm family, bro. So I put this on my on my face. I don't know everybody, bro. Um, you feel me? I'm but big you, on that. You I feel think me? T.S. Didn't, didn't he put T.S.F. on his face, too? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. I, 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 I fuck with, bro. You yeah. feel me? I'm not speaking on... Just him. Yeah, just, yeah, yeah. Like, you just said anybody. Yeah, could, like, anybody this shit bro, real. You see what's could, going on. Right. You it feel could go, me? It could go it crazy. It could be that one person that, that think they know whatever they think going on, and it's... You feel me? So that's why I'm big on, like, keep what it is, bro. You feel me? We're rapping. I don't know you besides nothing else. Yeah. <laughs> We're yeah. rappers. No, no, I get it. And, that, and it makes sense because oh, God. you don't know, you can't control Man, don't the movement. Me, don't tell me none of your street business, bro. Bro, the movement. I got my own street shit. <laughs> God, I need to out of this. So don't tell me what you but got the going movement, on. The movement is so big. Y'all yeah, so sure. y'all come like y'all come like the and I love like, it. like a bull. How like many, how many of y'all are Ask there? Him. Ask him. Ask him. How many? Yes, I can't tell you. You don't that. know no That's count? What, this is what I'm telling you. I can't tell you. Because when I even go on Instagram and it's put in TSL, it's a lot. I see it's, some names like that I, said, I never like even said, know. Like I said, like I said, it's a lot. It's a lot of that's artists and it's a lot of brothers. We brothers, you know what I'm saying? It's a lot. That do other other ventures in the business, like okay. some people got gaming systems that we play games. Some people do clothing and part brands. Of the TSF yeah, some family. people just producers. Some people just do photos. Some people got everything. Just Big Bro gave us an opportunity and the umbrella to you know be under the umbrella of doing whatever we want to do under the umbrella. You know How long you been in TSF? I helped start it. You know what I'm saying? I, How many years has it been started we, now? I, well, we just did. I said eight, eight, nine. Eight, like when nine you when you go see when you go see Walk uh, first say cheese interview when we was at on uh, it's called RMG Studios. I'm in the back on the bike with a chip too. You know what I'm saying? Oh God! I was, we since that's why that's why I'm so I'm so committed to to Walk and Sancho, bro. Because like I was I was a part of a group called Mo Gang before I was part of TSF, and I was just like 
in Mo Gang, I was just like the bro the brother that was cheering for my other brother, like, mm -hmm. hey Mo, jam his music, he hard, like da da da. But the time I got with Walking them just one day in the studio by JP, he was saying they was rapping, and I was like, hey bro, you should say it like this type. And he was like, hey bro, before you tell me what to say, why don't you go in there and do it right. yourself? I'm like, nah, bro, nah. They didn't just went to the club and our producer J Red was in the studio, it was just me and him. And I came with my first two songs. Um, one of them was called Flavor in Your Ear. And she it was a rap. Mm. So I, they told me to rap, so I gotta stay down with this over here. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101.